Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Taurus 692 multi-caliber revolver. This is new for 2019. It was introduced at SHOT Show in 2018. It's out and available now. MSRP 692. Average price, I checked up and down Gun Broker as well as a few other sites. Right around 520 will get you this multi-caliber revolver with a 3-inch barrel. Now it also comes in a larger model with a six and a half inch barrel this is the three inch barrel and i like this because it's short it's stocky it's overbuilt which is nice especially with the 357 magnum and it feels very tough and in the best thing one of the best things anyways is that it's a seven shot in both 357 38 special and multi-caliber that also means nine millimeter so we're going to talk about that but let's first take a look at what this offers now uh, clearly two two different cylinders all right unfluted now i like the looks of a fluted cylinder but i think on this model that just works for me i, I like the i like the way that looks i'm sure if it was fluted it would be fine too this is the stainless steel model it's got a matte finish it's about 50 bucks more it also comes in a blackened model or a blued model that it looks very nice you know blued but it's it's a little bit less and it's the exact same thing now it does say tracker right there all right so it is a taurus tracker 692 and another thing that i really like is that it is ported okay there are four ports right there on each side and that will keep the muzzle rise to a minimum i'm hoping with with the weight of this and the uh overbuiltness that i spoke about and the ports i think it's going to be just fine full underlug seven rounds and the grip is kind of a spongy rubber there all right so that'll take up some of the recoil i'll be interested to see what aftermarket grips are available but you can see that you know it's got the the lines of rubber that gives it a little spongy feel to it and that will certainly help out with the 357 magnum it does have adjustable rear sights right there all right okay you can see the adjustments right there and what i think is cool is it ships it with with this cap that goes over the sights and i'm just going to hold on to that you know that's that's so that the site doesn't pop out the cardboard box but it also protects that site when throwing in the range bag or whenever you transport it so I, I i like that piece i think that's a a nice touch and then it has an orange insert with a ramped up pinned front sight all right and seven rounds of 357 magnum there it is 8.1 inches overall length very sturdy now it is a double action all right heavy trigger pull not too bad but I will mention the single action pull, all right? Now, we know that the, the overall pull is, is going to be short, but it's not a feather trigger. It's not one of those feathers. You, got, you have to put some pressure on there. So it's not one of those, you know, just, just touch the trigger and it's going to drop that hammer. Not at all. I, I me I'm measuring it right around between six and seven pounds with that si single action trigger. And I'm fine with it, you know. Spurred hammer. And it also has a transfer bar right there. So that hammer is hitting the transfer bar, hits the firing pin. And well, let me go ahead and drop this. And then there we go. There's the, the uh, firing pin. Here's the timing hand. All right. And over here we got the bolt lock. When I, when I uh, lube up a revolver, I don't do much, guys. I put a, a drop right here at the yoke. And then... I put the shaft on the ejector, I put it right there, and then that allows for a nice smooth spin. Not that you need to spin it, but it just know, it, you just know that it's, it's properly lubed. But I know many of you are wondering, how difficult is it to change this 357 into the 9mm? So I'm going to show you that right now. All right, this right here, that button, just push on that button, pull forward, and off comes that cylinder. And then you want to go nine millimeter just align that right there push the button and there you go shoot nine millimeter how about that it also comes with moon clips all right 
comes with five moon clips that it could also be used as speed loaders now here i have some speed loaders uh, or, or a speed loader that or shall i say a moon clip with seven rounds of nine millimeters so let's go ahead and see that put it right in there because it is a uh, unrimmed case it needs those moon clips and there you go let's go ahead and weigh it with the nine millimeter loaded up this is a heavy duty revolver and i think its capabilities are are pretty cool so loaded with seven rounds of nine millimeter two pounds four and three eight ounces all you guys that are into ounces what just happened oh i pushed the wrong one i reset the scale and the taurus 692 is weighing in at 36 and 5 8 ounces so it's got some weight behind it it's got some girth built into it it offers seven loads in each of the cylinders and i'll go ahead and switch them out once again to show you how simple that is and i'm looking forward to this guys i'm going to take this to the range i'm going to shoot 357 38 special and nine millimeter to check out the capabilities of this it offers a lot and i think it's a nice revolver with many options and i i think you guys are going to like how it performs at the range heck i'm hoping i like how it performs at the range because i think taurus has a winner here if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe